Oh. What's going on, guys? It's the Mighty Dark Thirteen back again, and Hello. as you can hear, I have a I have a co-host. Welcome to the wonderfully disastrous disastrous podcast. I will get better at saying that name. So, as you can hear, I almost fucked it up for a third time. But as you can hear, I have my good friend Matt. Matt, say hello to the peoples. Hello, peoples. Hello, peoples of the interwebs. Yes, so this is my not at all long-awaited podcast because I didn't tell anyone I was doing a podcast. Except me for Except... the past 30 years every day. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> so, yeah, um, me and Matt have been, I mean, we've been friends for a few years. 47 years. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so, yeah, what we've basically... I mean, obviously, I've been doing YouTube for a while now, and I've always wanted to do a podcast. This first podcast is going to be a Q&A. And he has himself in trouble with having me on it. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, how many other people can I bully into pod... I mean, asking politely to be on a podcast with me. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, yeah, obviously, we have our own ideas for podcasts, so we've got a few other ideas in the pipeline, which we're not going to mention. Shut uh -huh. up, Matt. <laughs> I said nothing. I know, but you smirked. I did not. <laughs> oh, all right. But yeah, if you um, have any any topics you want us to cover, feel free to leave it in the description. But yes. So the first question is, how did we meet, Matthew? Minecraft take the floor. Minecraft on Xbox. Yep. So a mutual friend. Yep. Who ideally we want to get on the podcast at some point, but obviously it's a bit of a clusterfuck. I mean, this is this has taken us about four days to get to this stage after you know various issues. Four days is debatable. Actually, it's taken longer than that, hasn't it? I've been saying I want to do a podcast for about a year. Or longer. Is it longer than that? Anyway, we're getting off topic. That's going to be a. a, a um, phrase that you hear a lot on this podcast is we're getting yeah, off topic. Getting off topic is a going to be an ongoing theme with us. Yes. We, we can't talk about the same thing for longer than two minutes. No, we are useless at this. There will also be a lot of profanity, swearing. Mostly from Grant. I'm determined to make you swear at least once on this podcast. Shit. Done. Sweet. That's a point for me. So, these are in no particular order, so this is just kind of cobbled together questions so first one is a bit of a deep one but in life who would you say your inspiration is oh wow uh, I have multiple well run through them <laughs> one is actually the mutual friend that we just met mentioned yes who inevitably who I'm going to assume is listening to mutual friend, shout out to you. You and know who you she are. She knows this because I did a thing and showed it to her. Um, that sounds so bad. It, it was a school project. It was writing about someone we look up to. Aww. Um, <laughs> number two would probably be J.K. Rowling for mm -hmm. writing. Yeah, as you can uh, probably guess from Matt's avatar thing, which is top left. I'm Canadian I think. and I'm and I like reading. Yes, right. exactly. Whereas with me, it's you know I've got my Dartford badge, I've got my England flag, and I've got a picture of me. And my Twitter handle is at the top. Matt doesn't have a Twitter handle. Well, I have one, but it's private. Well done, dickhead. I wasn't going to mention you had a Twitter handle. No one's ever going to see it. It's fine. Fair enough. Not, you don't even know my Twitter. I don't want to know your Twitter. I would just end up spamming you with memes. Exactly. With what? Memes. Okay, I heard something else. <laughs> so, Anyways. Yes, back to um, inspirations. I can't think of any more, so yeah. Well, friend and J.K. Rowling. Yes. Sorry. My inspirations in life, I've got a few. Obviously, my grandparents, so my nan and granddad on my mum's side, a huge inspiration to me. Matt, you know that more than most. Um, obviously, sporting wise, um, Andy Young, former Dartford goalkeeper, and Stephen Gerrard, two massive inspirations. We should mention any time sports comes up, I zone out. Yeah, Matt. Matt doesn't do sports. No. 
Um, but yeah, like the, I think as well. I mean, our mutual friend does inspire me as well. She's just that kind of person. Although I think we can both agree there are times that she's bloody irritating. <laughs> I love you. I love the mutual friend. We need to get her on this podcast because I can't keep calling her a mutual friend. Yes. Do you know what? Actually, when she comes on, do you know what I'm going to put across the bottom? Mutual friend. <laughs> Hash, like, at the top of the avatar, hashtag mutual friend. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, yeah, so... Obviously, we are from different countries, so Matt's obviously Canadian. I am uh, English, or British, however you want to look at it. Funny story about that, actually, before I go on. I thought Matt was uh, Australian when I first met him. Yeah, you thought I was Australian, and you thought I was, like, 26. Yes, you do sound 26, to be fair. Well, you did when I first started talking to you. But no... Despite the fact that I was, like, 14 when you started talking to me. Yes. Um... The thing is, is I'm not going to say where Matt comes from, because... Canada. Yeah. Done. Well, right, yeah, Canada. I'm not going to say what part of Canada. But there is also a place in Canada that sounds like a place in Australia. And for the first sort of six months of us being friends, I thought he was Australian. Because I have such a thick Australian accent. Do you know what? That never actually crossed my mind. Why am I not surprised? Because you know I don't think about things. I mean, this is coming from the guy who was up, at, who stayed up all night and then made himself a bacon sandwich at half past eight and almost burnt the kitchen down. Well done. Yeah, exactly. Moving on. So, what is your favourite thing about Canada? Ugh. <laughs> I don't think I have one. To be the people. Is that because they're all incredibly friendly? That's debatable. <laughs> <laughs> if you lived here, you would know. Yeah, I know. Um, um, yeah, I don't... I mean, in terms of England, I mean, my favourite thing would probably be the diversity of our culture. Right. So, That's much better than just the people. <laughs> yeah, you know, still. I'm changing my answer to the scenery. The scene. Oh, I've, I've heard. No, I've heard Canada is beautiful. So it's very green during the summer. Mm, I will say this: the first few questions are going to be very deep and sort of um, insightful, should we say? Philosophical. That's the one. Philosophical. See, Matt is the one who uses the big words. I, I have to as a writer. Exactly. Whereas I, I get baffled very easily. Shut up, Matt. <laughs> so, the next one is, what is our aims for the future? So, not just around this channel, but aims for life. I want to be a psychologist. I could see you. I, I think you'd make a very good psychologist. I would hope so. Mm. Um, and I want to publish a book. At some point. I want to get a book published. That would be cool. Um... With me, I'd mean I'd like to become a successful football coach. I guess, um, but I just live a happy life. You know, just fucking enjoy myself. That's a good goal. If there ever was well, one. let's face it. How many times have I drunk messaged our group chat? A number. Exactly. I mean, I'd, I I'd put up with you every single time. No, oh, shut up! I'm not that bad. You can. I know I can be, but that's normally when I'm feeling emotional. So that is true. Fuck you. Um, so, next question is, guilty pleasure-wise, what is your guilty pleasure? Uh... <laughs> I'd just like to ca uh, caveat quickly. I've not actually told Matt what any of the questions are going to be, so I'm throwing him in. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Hence why he's going, um, quite a lot. I mean, I'm lucky I have a notebook with the questions in next to me. You answer first while I think. Okay, cool. So, my guilty pleasure at the moment, it changes. Um, but at the moment, mine is... Actually, one that is a constant for me is cheese 
I love cheese. I've got a real thing for cheese. I love cheese. I thought that was just being human. Not everyone likes cheese. My dad's allergic. No, but the people who do like it love it. Yeah, it's, you know. But no, it's like cheesy, you know, like mozzarella sticks, stuff like that. Oh, I fucking love them. I love mozzarella sticks. Oh, mozzarella sticks are gorgeous. I'm making myself, I want mozzarella sticks now. There's no time to eat. We need to do this. Yes. <laughs> the amount of time it's taken us to get this fucking far. Although on the upside, we are 10 minutes in, so we're doing well. Cue my laptop. Meanwhile, our Skype call is an hour and ten minutes. <laughs> Cue my laptop fucking frying in about 30 seconds. And we had a 20 minute one before that trying to get everything set up. <laughs> um, Anyways, okay, so yours is cheese. Yes, or... I also, I mean, there's a shop in my local village that do um, what they call... I think... It's like... A, do you know what pick and mix is, Matt? It's like when you go and you get, like, there's loads of sweets and then you put them all in a little cup and... Okay. Well, there's a shop in my village that do, like, bags of those for a pound. They are really nice. Mm. So, they're a guilty pleasure. Basically, sweets and cheese. And alcohol. But that's not a guilty pleasure. I just like drinking. Fair enough. Hash, hashtag not an alcoholic. <laughs> um, I really don't know if I have one. Um, well, I can't really say any type of music because I listen to everything. So I actually, you started me off on music, like listening to everything. I mean, you introduced, I introduced me to, you to a lot of things. You did. You introduced me to Panic at the Disco, which I'm very thankful for. Funnily enough, I've stopped listening to them. Have you actually? Well, I listen to them when I want to. I don't listen to them as often as I used to. Yeah. Um. I don't think I have one. Well, if we ever meet up in the future, then we'll have to find one. So, what, um, it's dollars in Canada, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So, if you had, if you want a million dollars, or pounds in my case, what would you spend it on? If I had a million dollars? Yep. Which, considering the exchange rate, would probably be less in pounds. I wouldn't use a lot of it. No, to be fair, I don't think I really would. Like, I, I would buy a house. That would be my first thing. I'd buy a house and a car. Yeah. House and a car. And then I'd probably just live my life. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably donate a lot of it, honestly. You, you have to one-up me, don't you? <laughs> I, I, well, no. Seriously, I would. Yeah, I know you would. Um, I'd get what I need and then just keep some for if I need it and then don't oh, the rest well, of it. Yeah, no, that I can understand. Like, I, I think I'd come over and see you as well. That I'd, would be fun. I'd travel. I'd come over and see... I'd actually fly a helicopter and land outside your house. <laughs> You'd need to learn to fly one. No, time. I wouldn't. It'd be fine. There's also not a spot in front of my house to land a helicopter. Alright, fine. I'd land on your house then. That also wouldn't work because of slanted rooftops. No, well, <laughs> fuck it, I'll just make sure, like, you, the roof has a point, I'm assuming. I will just land a helicopter on top of said point. I'd rather you didn't crash through our roof. <laughs> I, who my, said anything? My bedroom is right in the middle of the house. <laughs> who said anything about crashing? Up. I said I was going to land. I don't think our house would be able to support the weight of a helicopter. Well, it's fine, because it would fall off anyway. So you'd have a nice big, you'd have a swimming pool. Once, once you've got rid of the helicopter. I don't want a swimming pool. <laughs> well, fuck it, you're getting one. We're going off topic. Yeah, we are massively, but oh well, fuck it. If anyone's lasted this long, then they're doing well, let's be fair. It's true. So, and I blame you. Yeah, well, you know, hashtag blame Grant's making an early appearance. Yes. So That is awesome. Yes. So, where would your dream holiday be? New York City. That's quite funny. That's mine, actually. As well. <laughs> actually, I've got a few, to be fair. I'd love to go to Michigan, USA. I understand why. Yes. Um, obviously, Canada. 
I understand why. Je- I'm pretty awesome. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Germany? Would be another really? one for me. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to, uh, Dortmund. I want to go out. I want to go to Dortmund. Um, Amsterdam. It's a popular one. Yes, not for the reason everyone else goes. That's all I'm going to say. I don't know what reason you're talking about, but all right. <laughs> I'll just leave that for the audience to think. Um, tell me later. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you when we're not recording. Um, Ireland as well. Actually, coincidentally, me and Steph were talking about this today. Wait, where? Ireland. Ireland. Oh, Ireland. Ireland. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, can't really think of anywhere else. I think, yeah, I think number one on my list is probably New York City. Yeah. I would say London. Hey, my boy. Then, Back again. I'll say London and Michigan are tied. Yeah. Then, probably Paris. No, I could say that. And not because Canadians speak French, not because of that. <laughs> But, yeah, Paris, uh, and Ireland. Yeah, Ireland is a good one. Hmm. Well, Maybe I mean, somewhere in Scotland. I, that's another one on my list, actually, Scotland. But for my top one, would be New York. Yeah, definitely. So, following on from that, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? Um... Hold on, because I think I'm being interrupted slightly. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> so you answer, and I'll be you for a second. Yeah, no worries. Um, with me, it would be... I mean... Ideally, it would either be for me, the Isle of Wight, or potentially Canada, out of the two. Simply because the Isle of Wight, very laid back. I mean, anyone who watched my montage videos, there's a very nice sort of atmosphere out there. Um... And Canada, I've heard, is actually quite a nice place. It is. And to be fair, I mean, when I was younger, America was up there. And then certain things which we're not going to go into in this video happened. And then now it's ever so slightly shit. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so. Yeah. Matt, where do you want to live? <laughs> um, I like where I live. Canada. So, yeah. yeah. Well, you know what part of Canada no one else does. Mm-hmm. But um, I would say if anywhere other than where I am, I would probably live in London. So you don't want to, it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking dreadful. You really don't want to. Well... Okay, maybe not in London, like in the middle of it, but maybe somewhere nearby. Hmm. That'd be an idea. Hashtag, uh, hashtag the Mighty Dark 13 house is a, is a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, imagine us in a fucking house, yeah. Jesus. We could be roommates. I feel sorry for the person who would, like, like the house would just be a fucking mess. Yeah, it would. Just, it just everything. Yeah. Anyway, we are being distracted again. It's your fault. Oh, fuck off, is it my fault? So, this is one of the ones that Steph came up with. What okay. What makes you cringe? A lot of things. <laughs> you particularly. Oh, you cheeky bastard! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Just for that, you can answer first now. What? You can answer first now. I was going to anyway. No, well, fuck you. Um, what makes me cringe? Um, are we talking like sounds or what are we talking? Well, anything really. Like, it could be uh, like certain sensations or whatever. The sound of... You know the sound when you like accidentally scrape a fork against a plate oh, or something? Oh, that puts my safe on edge. Yeah, I, I, I'm fine with nails on a chalkboard, but that I can't stand. Yeah, no, that's... Uh, um, I think that's my main one, if we're not going to... Uh, go to do. Um, 
mine is now see with me i agree on the whole fork thing because that i do that on my own and i'm like eh. and yeah. i feel i feel horrible after. with me i don't know what it is but i mean i'm not squeamish at all Okay. But watching program, we have a program over in the UK called Casualty. Yeah. I cannot watch people get injections on TV. That's a common one. This is the thing, right? I was fine with needles until I had a toe operation. Fair enough. And now I just, I can't, I mean, I had acupuncture in my knee when I was out injured earlier in the year. Yeah. And I couldn't watch him put my needles in. But I could actually look. They're only tiny needles, but I could look at them actually in my leg, and it was really cool. Yeah. And I didn't watch him pull them out either, although he put one in my knee and he hit a pain receptor, and I almost went through the fucking roof. (laughs) It really fucking hurt, and I was bad. I won't repeat what I called him. I'm good with needles. Like, I, I needles don't bother me. Anything that has to do with eyes... Yeah. You're like, no. Uh... Mostly because I have experience with eye surgery. Yes, which is something we will save for another podcast. Yes. Yes. um, I can't do anything with eyes. Like, if I had to put contacts in, I would... Have a... (laughs) I would have a panic attack. (laughs) You'd literally just be lying on the floor, just frothing at the mouth, like... (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I I wouldn't be able to do contacts. No, fuck that. I couldn't do it. Like, it, to me, that's just... I mean, I've seen many instances where people have been headbutted or whatever and it's actually gone into their eye and that's just like, nah. Ugh. Yeah, Ugh. deal. Um, should we move on? Cause yes, please. I, I'm, I'm cringing a little bit, so... Me too. So, favourite meals. Obviously, we've had our guilty pleasures. So, what is your favourite meal? I really enjoy pasta. Mm, so do I, actually. Um, pizza is just a common thing. Yeah. That everyone likes. Uh, do you want me to go first? My, my mom makes really good burgers. I, I'm coming over your house at some point. <laughs> Fuck that, I, I want to taste burgers. So, so that would be the top three. Yeah. Um, with, mm-hmm. with me, it depends whether I'm having. A, it depends whether I'm on. I'm actually halfway for a season or whatever. Mm. If I base it off an off season, because obviously my refereeing season's over, so mine is um, like my nan does this. I can't remember what it is. It's like pork with like cream, mushrooms, and some wine, and it. it's really nice. I is like, and she does that with uh, rice. That's lovely. Nice. I'll have to. I'm gonna have to get the recipe off her at some point, and whatever. It's really nice. Um, I do. I'm partial to a bit of pasta. I love a good pasta bake. Cannot yeah, be that, good. That's one of the thing, main things I mean when I say pasta. Yeah, I love pasta with like some chicken on the side, and that's pretty decent. That's for me. That's a pre-season meal or pre-match. Like I love that the night before a game or whatever. That's lovely. And my third guilty pleasure, believe it or not, is burger and chips, but from like a pub. Okay. So like proper unhealthy or football. So and for anyone who's not British, he means fries. Yes. Yes. I, Matt will also be my translator for the Americans and the Canadians and the... Yeah, anyone else. until you get into the really weird ones that I don't even understand. Yeah, and then it's just I end up being fucking Google Translator. Yeah. Um, one that I forgot, I really like salad. So do I, actually. I do love a good salad. Yes. I don't eat enough salad. I've not eaten enough salad. But, again, that... I eat a couple a week, probably. I need to start eating them again, but that goes back to me being out injured in pre-season, just because where I was at, I just stopped caring about what I ate. Yeah. So, obviously, we've done our favourite foods now. So, what's the food that you hate? Like, you uh, cannot have it. It's like, nah. Tomatoes. Seriously? Yeah. Any, uh, I can do tomato sauce, obviously. Yeah, my little brother's like, the same, actually. Although he eats tomatoes now, I think. He used to do. Um, the other day, I actually... The salads that I eat, uh, 
I, I get uh, pre toss salads. Yeah. And um, they come with uh, little cherry tomatoes, and I bit into one, and literally, it's like I couldn't even chew it. My body rejected it. Oh, it was just like, no! <laughs> yeah. Like, full on, I had to chug a glass of Pepsi to get the taste out of my mouth because I felt physically sick from it. So, yeah, um, there's that. Can't do tomatoes. And beets. I don't like beets. I'm assuming by beets you mean beetroot. Yes, we, we just call it beets. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, there are weird liquid on them, and I don't like it. That's probably vinegar. Um, no, with me... I don't like vinegar. Yeah, I don't like vinegar, actually. Although, I blame that completely on my dad. Him and my little brother absolutely shower their fries in vinegar and it's the smell is like hot yeah although i can have it on fish and chips i, I can't have it on anything no i can't a uh, beetroot in vinegar just tastes like shit to be honest quick side story my hmm. mom accidentally drank vinegar once how the fuck did she manage that it was in a water bottle oh dear and um she tends to keep a bottle of water in the fridge mm -hmm. and she looked in there the vinegar was there, and uh, I'll just say, you heard more than a bit of coughing. <laughs> my, my question is, what the fuck was vinegar doing in the fridge? You don't put vinegar in the fridge? No, we keep it in a cupboard. Even after it's been opened? Yeah, it's, it's completely fine in a cupboard, mate. No, we put ours, we put ours in the fridge. No, see, we don't. Like, ours is in a cupboard. I was lost for years. Family differences, I guess. Mm, c country differences. True. Mm. So, my uh, foods I hate, I don't know what it is, but ravioli, I cannot eat it. Really? I, I, I love pasta, but I cannot eat ravioli. See, I could sit down and eat a bowl of ravioli. See, I don't know if it's just because I had shop bought ones and they were really, really shit. But I, I'm, I'm hoping that if I have normal ravioli, it'd be fine. But I had, a, I think it was a beef ravioli once when I was younger, and it tasted like utter shit. Oh. Uh -huh. um, no. The other one's licorice. Uh, I like red licorice. I don't like black licorice. No, see, black licorice, I can't stand. It tastes like absolute dog shit, which is annoying. My dad eats black licorice when it's chocolate. Yeah. So. See, this is the irritating thing is my... These one pound bag of sweets I buy has licorice in them. So if I've got Steph with me, I just give them to Steph because she eats both basically everything. Ah. Fair enough. Yes. So, um, where are we? So, changing it away from food. Okay. Uh, we've done. Uh, uh, what was your first childhood memory? Uh. <laughs> Is it bad that all the memories I go to are traumatic memories? <laughs> um, I fell in the pond once while fishing because I thought I was Spider-Man when I was four years old. And that scared me of water, and I now do not swim because of it. <laughs> yeah. That's my earliest childhood memory. See, people here are going to have... Like, their memories, like, people are going to listen to me speaking, and they're going to be like, oh, yeah, it's good. They're going to think of you, and they're going to think one of two things. I feel really sorry for him, or what a wanker. <laughs> I was four years old. Fair enough. My first childhood memory that I, viv like, sort of vividly remember is, um... I don't know. I might have had a few before then, but one I vividly remember is I was play fighting with my dad. I somehow managed to fall off the bed and carpet burned my nose. And I don't mean a sm I don't mean a small part. I managed to carpet burn the entirety of the front of my nose, the bridge of my nose. How? How? I don't know. Like I fell off How the bed. You carpet burn the bridge of your nose. I tried to keep myself up in the air. I obviously let go. Like I thought, I dad had hold of me. I obviously let go and I scraped my nose along the floor. I would think you'd hit your forehead before your nose. Well, I did my nose in. I thought my forehead was fine. Okay, then. Yes. Fair enough. So, 
Right, so Why do we both have childhood memories of us getting hurt? It Literally. So, following on from that, we've obviously done our first childhood memory. What's been your most embarrassing? Ugh. I've got a great one for mine. You realise we're putting this on the internet. Yeah. Um, I've had some really embarrassing ones. There's... I'll, I'll go first on this one. My one is, I went to, there's a place in Kent in England called the Hop Farm, which is, uh, hops are used to brew beer and stuff like that. Um, there was, we went there as a family and it was, uh, it was the Kent County Show. Keep in mind, I have not slept, or I've slept very poorly and I don't feel well. So, I've had, it's been a good day, I've had a bacon and egg roll, I'm feeling slightly better. Anyway, there's a slide. So my little brother's got, it's starting to rain, my little brother's gone down, on his bum, nothing wrong, he's enjoyed it. I thought, I was, I thought, fuck it, I'm going to be clever and go down on my front. Little caveat, there was a puddle at the bottom covered by a plank of wood. Great. I've gone down this slide, got to the bottom and thought, shit, I can't stop, gone flying off the end, landed on this bit of wood, and splashed what I can only hope was muddy water, although from the smell of it, I don't think it was, up into the air. All over my face and in my mouth. <laughs> I shit you not, right, my tracksuit bottoms I had on as well, were fucking, like, they were navy when I first put them on in the morning. They look the same colour as the mud. It was soaked through, it's fucking freezing. Because it's like, I think it was October time or whatever, but it was freezing cold. Mm -hmm. And I just ended up, and my little brother had a cup of hot chocolate. I was that cold, I was shaking while I was drinking it. Sounds like a good time. Oh, it was fucking funny. <laughs> I can laugh about it now. At the time, I was fucking fuming. Oh, that's how embarrassing things work. Um, mine would probably be, I think, in the seventh grade uh it was the end of the school day and i was talking to one of my friends on the way out to the bus and um i wasn't looking where i was going and uh there was someone kneeling on the floor in the middle of the hallway in front of us tying their shoe oh god i can see where this is going and um I'll just say that I ended up on the floor and so did he. <laughs> and, um, yeah, a lot of people saw it. I've also and it, 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 the person I was talking to almost didn't even realize because when I looked up, they kept walking. <laughs> so that was embarrassing. I think that's the worst that I've had in immediate memory. I've just thought of another one. Um, it's not so much embarrassing for me as it was for the person I was seeing at the time. Uh, oh, we, we went up London. There's meant to be a group of about 10 of us. I was the only one who showed up. Yes. But this is when I was feeling patriotic. Oh, I, I had a massive white shirt on with St. George's Cross emblazoned across my chest. And I was going up central London. All done. I was basically asking to get my head kicked in by someone. Nothing happened, obviously. Thankfully. But the person I went up to London with took one look at me and called me a fucking dickhead. <laughs> And I was like, I like the shirt, fuck off. Valid. Alright. Yeah. We're getting better at these. You know, we've been so going... we've put that on the internet. Yes. To be fair, there's a worse one, but I don't really want to get arrested, so... <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. Um, Favourite childhood TV programme? Nope. Ew. Um... <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> I didn't really like any TV shows. Um, if we're going really childhood, when I was like 
five, I like the show called PB and J Otter. I've watched that. I've heard of that. That was probably my favorite, like, little kid TV show. Um, aside from that, I guess a show called The Proud Family. I like that. No, I don't know. Um, I don't think there are any others that I really watched. A lot of what I watched when I was a little kid was uh, anime that would come on at like 11.30 and I watched it because it looked cool. Now, see, with me, my childhood was Thomas the Tank Engine. I fucking love that program. I hated that show. A lot of some people do. It's like I don't see what's wrong with it. I hated it. I thought the faces looked creepy. I didn't understand why they were just made out of clay with the people and they didn't move. You'd fucking hate the animated series then. How great! That's even worse. They ruined a lot of old shows. They really have. We are not getting into this now because I, I could rant for at least half an oh, hour. Oh, I'm changing my answer. My favorite childhood show was That's So Raven. Oh, that was a fucking brilliant program. Yes, and now they've remade it. Another? It's called Raven's Home. They're basically adults now and she has her own kids. That's pretty cool. I haven't watched it. it that never have I, to be frightfully honest. I kind of don't want them to ruin a good thing. Nope, I know what you mean completely. Uh, um, yeah, another one with me. Sorry, go on. I also liked a show called Kim Possible. Yes, that's another one on my list actually. Okay. What's she doing? A live animated movie or a live mo- a live action movie for? I have no idea. There, they have a cast and everything. Yeah. Um, Anyways. With me, another one was uh, Bear in the Big Blue House, which I don't I know. I watched that. The be- You know the bit where he used to sniff? That scared me. The shit out of me. Yeah, the same with me. I used to hug up my mum. The, the issue with that is, another quick story, um, when we were, like, probably six, uh, we had a book known as The Bear Under the Stairs read to us. And, um, I will just say, until we probably got to, like, age 12, we were terrified of going into our basement on our own. Because, um, for a children's book, it had some very, uh, scary artwork. Mm. Like, think Halloween times 10. Jesus. So that was great as a child. All right, so obviously we've seen the quote-unquote best of our childhood. What would you say the worst program from your childhood was? Was the tank engine? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no, with me, it would have to be... Um, shit, I can't remember what it's called. There was a, right, put it this way, right. I'm. This wasn't from my childhood childhood. This came along uh, slightly later. Right? Peppa Pig and Chuggington. And the remastered Fireman Sam. Those three are fucking shit. Keep in mind, I've got a younger brother, so I ended up watching the kids' stuff with him. Yes. It was fucking shite. My niece loves Peppa Pig. I know what you mean. I, do you know what? I don't... Right, you know how with, say, Thomas the Tank Engine, that sort of shit like that, there was at least an arc with the story? No. No? Okay. Well, n- normally kids' programs have, like, an arc. Okay. Right, so, like, they, you know, you have a problem, they solve it, all that shit, right? Peppa Pig, to me, doesn't have this. Peppa Pig is just Fair. insanely fucking annoying. Yeah, it's just kind of noise. Yeah, basically. Um, yeah. I've not really got anything else I dislike. So, um, favourite video game of all time? Oh, that's a hard one. Yeah. Mm. See, I know what most people would say my answer would be, and it'd be FIFA, and they'd be wrong. 
I like playing FIFA, but it isn't my favourite game. Like in terms of playing it, yeah, yeah I love it, for but me, a lot of... it's it's not my favourite game. If I had to pick one, believe it or not, it would be probably. I mean, I'm looking at my collection of games now because obviously I'm laying on my bed to record this, and I've got a uh, my games are all lined up. Yeah. Oh, pardon me. Um, my favourite actually would probably be fucking um. Oh, bollocks. What's that fucking... What's it called? Uh, Dead Island. Dead Island? Dead Island or Left 4 Dead 2. One of those two. Uh, no, just... Okay. Well, yeah, I don't know. Whatever the first... The Dead Island that we really... Like you, me, and... Our, um, mutual friend. Mut mutual friend, thank you. I forgot what we were calling you. Um, yeah, whatever the one we jumped on with... I think that was the first one, wasn't it? If I remember rightly. Mainly the first one. Yeah. Okay. Um, but that's just because it has I'm a lot of good memories. Sorry, I'm going to go further back than you did with it. Mine would probably actually be a PlayStation 1 game. Damn, boy. That I didn't get to play until recently when I got my PS3. Yeah. And it is called Chrono Cross. Mm hmm The sequel of a game called Chrono Trigger. And it is a lot of fun. That's cool. I think retro games in some ways are the best. Like, I am... What are we in now? 28. I'm still rocking an Xbox 360 at this point. Like... I still... We, we still have a... Uh, well, we don't have it anymore. It's, uh, we gave it to my nephew. Yeah. We had a Nintendo 64. Bloody hell. That's going back. My mum and dad actually have a Sega Mega Drive, I think. Or a Sega. They have a Sega console. Okay. And this I've is... I've never played this game. And I, was gonna say, I was Nintendo until I got the PlayStation. Yeah, I was going to say, this is where Matt goes, what's in it? Sega, because Matt is a lot young. well, a lot younger. You're two years younger than me, aren't you? Three? Well, well you're, you're what? I'm 21 this year. I'm turning 20 this year. Oh, so you're only a year younger than me. Probably a little over a year. Look, look, we don't need, look the, the viewers do not need to know the schematics of our uh, friendship. No. Um, so what would you say your least favourite video game is? Uh, um, anything Call of Duty? Yep, same with me. Cannot stand the Call of Duty franchise. I like the zombies part of it, but any of the online crap I don't like. See, if I want to shoot zombies, I'll go on Left 4 Dead too. I go on Left 4 Dead if I want to do multiplayer zombies. If I want yeah. to do single player, I do Call of Duty. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't know. I've just never really. I'm not massively into Call of Duty anyway. Yeah. So, sort of. I, mean, I suppose this is a good time for us to sort of explain a little bit deeper what we like. Obviously, we met for our, for our mutual friend. Yes. And obviously. We met through gaming on Xbox, and coincidentally, I met our mutual friend through another mutual friend between me and her. Which it gets really fucking confusing after a while. However, with me, said mutual friend was my first friend on Xbox. Yes, well, I. I mean, with it, we kind of all. Like, I was playing with my mutual friend, and she went, Hey, do you mind if I invite this person? They're really cool. I went, All right, then whatever, I don't care. I, th I think I'd been playing with this mutual friend for two or three years by the time we started talking with you. Yeah, and then, I mean, it's been what? It's been a long time uh, for us, hasn't it? That's got to be... Because I was in my first year at college, so it has to be about 2013. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, so Five years. That, I thought it was... I didn't think it was as long as that. That's, that's quite oh. scary. Oh, wow. When you think about it, we really have been friends for ages. Oh, that makes me feel old. <laughs> it really does. But, um, yeah. So. Yeah, um, and we used to play Minecraft. We started off playing Minecraft together. We started with Minecraft. Yeah. When you joined us. My, uh, our mutual friend and I started with Leopard 2. Yes, and then. We didn't get Leopard 2 until... Yes, and then I was chatting with these two one night, and they went, yeah, well, you know, 
you need to get Left 4 Dead 2. And I was like, what is it? And they were like, oh, it's a zombie game. I was like, all right then, I'll give it a go. Did you get Left 4 Dead 2 first or Dead Island first? No, I got Left 4 Dead 2 first. Okay. I bought. I think I bought two games, so I might have got... No, because I bought Riptide and Dead Island at the same time. I got them both. Okay. Um, but yeah, like we sort of met. And I think the thing is, is all joking aside, me and Matt might call each other XYZ on this podcast and whatever and joke and take the piss. We have a very sort of good friendship between us. Yes. And the thing is, is the reason I want Matt to do his podcast, and I just want to challenge this. I had someone leave a comment on Twitter and say, why are you risking your channel by bringing in a co-host, blah, blah, blah. I wouldn't bring Matt on if I wasn't confident that he would do well. And to the extent, negotiations, in quotation marks for this, have gone on for about a year. Me and Matt yeah. have been talking about this. If I didn't think Matt was right for my channel... I wouldn't have invited him on. And vice versa, if Matt didn't feel he was right, he wouldn't have come on. I mean, yeah. we we flow with quite a lot of banter. That's the thing. Like, Matt has a very le- very there, the, 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 very similar sense of humour to mine. Yes, very but, much so. So, I, I feel it would work. And to be frightfully honest, I don't really care either way. I'm just happy to be doing something with my friend. So, yeah. Anyway, now I've dealt with that. <laughs> Means I've not got to put that in my We're next video. We're doing this room. It's fine. Exactly. Doesn't matter. Um, so, what's the best book you've read, obviously, being a writer? You know, I'm one of those people that loves writing. I don't love reading. Really? That's That does actually surprise yeah. me. Um... I've, there's one main book series that I've read, and despite J.K. Rowling being one of my favorite authors, it wasn't the Harry Potter series. <laughs> um, there is a series called The King Chronicles. There's three books in it, and it's basically about um, Egyptian mythology and two magician siblings that kind of pretty much fight a bunch of Egyptian gods and stuff. Oh, it's it's a great book series. I haven't gotten to read the third one yet, but I do have it here. I need to read it. I've got a few. I mean, I've got there's a book series called Cherub, which I read, which are by Robert Muchamore. Uh, you won't know who this bloke is, but Eddie Jordan, who was a Formula One team owner. Okay. Uh, Stephen Gerrard's autobiography, famous footballer for Liverpool. And there's another one that I can't fucking remember. But anyway, those uh, those three... And, well, I mean, Darren Shan, that's it. Darren Shan, who wrote a series of vampire books. Uh, uh, they are bloody fantastic, and I do want to get the set. As long as they're better than Twilight. Anything's better. I could write a better book than Twilight, and I can't fucking write for shit. True. I've just realised uh, Steph is going to watch this and fucking murder me for saying that, because she was a twi- <laughs> She's going to kill me for saying this, but she was a Twilight fan back in the day. She's not anymore, I'd like to add. She is since okay. since. Um, I hope. Another one that I like is a book called The Shadow Thieves. Ooh, bollocks. That was one of the first books that I really read. Mm-hmm. All the actual novels that I've read are all over 400 pages. Yeah. I mean, that's weird on that score. I, I don't read as much as I used to, but I want to start reading more. A lot of the reading I've done is mostly just because of school projects for English yeah. class. So, and even then, I don't like a lot of the books. No, a lot of them are crap. Of Mice and Men is actually one book I liked reading. Uh, the one book that I actually enjoyed from English class is called, I believe it's called Where the Red Firm Grows. Yeah. Yeah. Um, everyone cried when we read it in class. Jesus. I won't say why. If you want to know, read it yourself. Um, <laughs> Hashtag no book. spoilers. But the ending is yeah. Yeah, so um, very quickly, there's going to be a very brief pause in recording if I can figure out because I need the bathroom and I can't fucking hold it anymore. So very quickly, jump cut! No.
record or we'll be getting to the podcast for a while then. Yeah, exactly. So we're back after a brief jump cut. Hello. Hello again. Um, right. I've lost where I was. What is your biggest fear in life? Uh, um, I feel like my reaction to all of these questions has just been you. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, For, <laughs> do you want me to go first on this one? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, mine is heights. I cannot. Right. I hate heights. Yeah, I can relate to that. I, I don't like heights I, either, but I would call it my biggest one. No, my biggest fear is heights. I, like, the thing is, is I'm fine in water, but heights gives me severe. Like, I don't like it. Like, I don't know. Just, just the heights in general is just like a no, no for me. Okay. Like, um, I would say mine is probably I'm really scared of water yeah obviously with the hole yeah um, I'll just say water like the ocean yeah I can't swim so obvious reasons Mm-hmm. Uh, mine would be. I thought you said yours heights. Yeah, no, mine is heights. Okay. So, uh, with me. Right. Yeah, heights and upsetting those I care about. That's that's a pretty big one for me. Yeah. That's that's a, that's a pretty major one for me. Um, right, so, what would you say that my best feature is? See, I could be a jerk here. <laughs> you could do, but bear in mind who's rendering this and who's going to, who's editing it together. Your picture might end up getting... True. Um, you're easy to talk to. Mm-hmm. I'll try that. And that's saying a lot, cause I, a lot of my friends are girls, because I don't think talking to guys. No, exactly. And we've been friends for five years, so clearly I'm doing You're something You're one right. of few that I like talking to, and mm-hmm. I'm able to talk to. When I can actually get hold of you. Yes. <laughs> Funny story, I literally spammed Matt for about three days before I got an answer. Yeah, I'm bad at that. I don't check social media often. So, when, you know, we've done a podcast um, one week, and then we say, yes, next one will be out next week, and there's a five-week gap, it's because I can't get hold of Matt and have resorted to spamming him. You you even messaged my sister. <laughs> you can blame our mutual friend for that one. Ow, oh, great. She said to me, have you tried messaging... your sister and to be fair I was worried at that point I was not it, it wasn't just I was trying to record I was generally worried yeah so yeah um so my what I'd say your best feature is I'd probably say the fact that you are a lot maturer than your age when you need to be I'll take that and I mean by that I mean, it's kind of, I, I struggle to trust people, like, that's 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 a given, I, I struggle quite a lot, mm-hmm. and the fact that, as Matt says, he, I find it very easy to talk to him as well, I, I struggle to open up to people, to be frightfully honest, yes. and the fact that, even with our mutual friend, with her and Matt, I'm very much open. Like, I can sit there, and if I'm having a bad day, I can go and tell him I'm having a bad day, and I don't feel any worse about it. So, I mean, I take, I take, like, I take sort of quite a lot of pride in the fact that I can talk to you guys when I want to, and, like, when I need you, and you guys, I know you guys will be there. Yeah. 
when you check your fucking messages. <laughs> yeah. You can you can honestly say that if you really need me, I always answer. Yes, after I spam for about twenty minutes, going Matt, I need you. But yes, all joking aside, I've never once <laughs> Matt's never once left me in the what in the um, proverbial shit creek, shall we say? Yeah. So. On a, right, we'll go for some more happier ones now because we've had quite a deep run of questions. Yeah, okay. Um, funniest travel story. I don't travel. Oh, bollocks. I don't have one. Shit. We haven't traveled many places. Well, mine. I'll always remember it. It was when it's a football related one, but when we went to Eastbourne, me and my granddad, and we parked up. Now. For those who don't watch football, you have uh, what's called a coach. Like, I'm assuming you know what a coach is. Yes, I know what a, I know what a coach is. Yeah, let's not have <laughs> let's not have another. Do you have buses in Canada fiasco? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell the story. I, about I will tell the story of that afterwards. Um, so basically, like we had. Um. You know, we had a trip. We went to Eastbourne to watch Dartford play. So we've gone down and Grandad's parked up next to the coach. And Stuart's come over and gone, you can't park there. My Grandad doesn't take shit very well. And by that, I mean, if he thinks you're talking bollocks, he will tell you you're talking bollocks. And um, basically, the steward said he can't park there next to the coach, and he basically went, why not? And the steward gave him some bullshit excuse. And he turned around, looked the steward square in the eye, and went, well, that's bollocks, mate. Um, and this is before we've even gotten to fucking football stadium, I'd like to add. My thought process at this point was, we've travelled for about an hour and a half, and we're not even going to get in the fucking ground, because he's getting in a fight with the staff. Literally, my thought process was for fuck's sake. Yeah. So, there was also another one where um, I was on a coach and everyone started making animal noises and I joined in. But, yeah. So, anyway, um, back to the do you have buses in Canada thing. Yeah. Matt is never going to let me lift this one down. Um, it's your own fault because I forgot until you just brought it up. But well, fuck it then. If you've only well, you can tell the fucking story then. No, you go ahead. No, no. embarrassment. Yeah, no, that's my embarrassment. It's why I want you to tell it so it comes from you. Because I, be honest, I. <laughs> uh, I don't know the exact situation. I, I but... think. I think we were just gaming on Xbox one night, and we were talking about traveling. Yes. And all of a sudden, Grant comes out with, do you have buses in Canada? And, um, yeah. Turns out they do. I don't even know what else to say. I just want to let that sink in. It turns out they have buses. have buses in Canada. I mean, to be fair, for all I know, they all traveled around on moose. <laughs> Thing is, right, is you're the Canadian one and my nickname's Moose, so... Yeah, that's the funny thing. That's You're the, the one thing. that's obsessed with moose. I'm not obsessed, it's just my nickname. And your Minecraft. Shut up. <laughs> so, alright then. I've got... What is our funniest gaming moment? I've got a pretty good idea on one, but I'll let you answer first. There's too many. Well, think of the funniest one, and I can remember one. Alright, uh, you know, I'll tell you think of one. We were playing Left 4 Dead 2 one night. The three of us, I think. Or was it just you and me? No, it might have been you and me. I can't remember. Anyway, we're on Xbox. And yeah. it's about four o'clock in the morning my time, because we game till late. I, we're playing... Well, little fun fact, Grant is currently three and a half hours ahead of me. Yeah. Time, so. so, I mean, we've been going for about an hour at this point. And at the time of recording, it's quarter past seven, give or take. So for me it's quarter two. Yeah. So anyway, we're sitting there in Xbox one night and it's gone we're sitting playing Left 4 Dead and we're just chatting. I've walked around a corner 
and got floored by a zombie. <laughs> you know where I'm going with this. I'm not afraid to admit I screamed like a little bitch. <laughs> and when I said I screamed, I don't mean a little like, ah, I full on fucking screamed. And almost threw my controller across the fucking room. To the extent my dad came and walked in to see if I was okay. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. I mean, there's been other ones on Minecraft. Uh, I remember when we were uh, building one night. And I have a thing where I just get really, really bored after a while. Yes. And we share that. Yes. The problem is, is I may have ever so slight. Anyway, Matt's building this really very nice house. Yes. I got bored and built a TNT trap right under the front door. Mm-hmm. Matt didn't realise this and walks over it. Yes. And um, his his lovely house. Was not so lovely anymore. <laughs> his his lovely house was a crater uh-huh. <laughs> at where his house once stood because it may have gone slightly overkill. Yeah, and I think you also almost exploded both of our Xboxes. Yes, um, yes. <laughs> um, I haven't really got anything else to say. I'm, I'm, um. Meh. I have one that's also sort of embarrassing for you. I'm the embarrassing one on gaming when you can't guess. If you can't guess. Do you guess. remember that night that I had you convinced there was a killer cow in your closet? Oh, you are such a fucker. <laughs> I had you legitimately terrified. Yep. Do you know what? No, it wasn't even in my fucking cupboard. Do you know what it was? What? It was fucking downstairs and I needed to get a drink. Oh yeah, that's right. It, it was living under your stairs or something. Yeah, like, so, we'll explain more of, the, like, I can't remember the backstory behind it. Neither can I. No. That was a long time ago. It now. was. But, to the extent, I walked downstairs holding a wooden sword, I had a pair of sunglasses and a a scarf wrapped around my head. (laughs) It's four o'clock in the fucking morning, it's pitch black, and I'm wearing sunglasses. And I stabbed a pile of washing. I had you legitimately scared. Generally. I... Do you know what? Even now, I feel uneasy around cows. (laughs) Still, I feel uneasy around cows. You're welcome. So, yeah. So, I Hashtag. think that is the funniest one between you and me. Yeah. So, next one for you, and this is... You're going to hate me for asking you this. If I hate you that much, I'm not answering it. Well, fuck you. You're answering, bitch. You're on a podcast. What is your favourite video that I've made? Uh, the Bean Boozled Challenge. Oh, you motherfucker! I knew you were going to say that! <laughs> God damn it! I knew that was going to be your... I was hoping to trip you up there. Well, I will fully admit that I have never watched any others. No, I know. The, the thing was, is we uh, had to deal a little while back that if I watched Glee, he would watch my videos. You didn't watch the full I fucking... I got through half the first fucking season. Okay, if and not, I got through an entire one of your videos. Yes, this is back before I realised that if I hold the camera sideways, it actually looks better than... <laughs> Yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I don't watch his videos. No. Um, Most of them are about football, and I don't care. No, so, yeah, I, I think you tend to watch some of the challenge videos when they come out. I, I've watched the Bean Boozle challenge. Yes. My favourite video, believe it or not, would probably be one of my montages. Never watched it. No, I know you haven't. But the thing is, is in terms of my videos, one of the ones I'm proud of is probably when I first started doing montages. Oh, I, I did watch the one of you getting your legs wet. Yes. Legs waxed. That was fucking horrible. I had a good time laughing at you. 
Everyone fucking did. Do you know what? Like, the scariest thing is, is that isn't even my most viewed video. That's amazing. That really is. Like, my most viewed video is a football vlog from Millwall earlier in the That's season. That's not that surprising. Mm, it isn't, it isn't. Um, yeah, like... I don't know. It's... it's, it's I'd, I'd probably I'd probably agree with the Bean Boozle being one of my favourite videos. It's, it was. Fun. It was. But bear with me a minute, guys. I've kind of managed to throw my fucking... <laughs> um, I, I made a slight boo-boo. Don't break anything. <laughs> um, my, I'm using a webcam to record my audio. I have my webcam wrapped around my foot, and I've just managed to almost launch my webcam across the room. So, I apologise in advance for the ear-deafening noises that have quite possibly occurred. I heard them, they did. Was it very loud? Not to me, but my volume is lower. Oh, uh, well, sorry. Yeah, um... Right. Well... Uh, add it to the blooper reel. Yeah, fuck off. This is the actual take, we're not adding it to the blooper reel. You can still put it in blue. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> funny moments. This whole thing's a fucking funny moment. What would you say? This is a this is a good one. What would you say the stupidest thing you've ever done is? I think I was Spider Man and try to climb down a rock and fall in the <laughs> pond. Yeah, uh, my one was either the slide story I told uh, told earlier, or the cow. The cow. Or there was a time I dropped a jar of mayonnaise and tried to kick it back up in the air. <laughs> it's not a football game. No. The... Right. The issue with it was, is I was in the fridge yes. getting a, I think it was a drink or something, and a jar of mayonnaise fell out the fridge. I've tried, the reason I kicked it was to try and keep it up in the air. Long story short, I missed the fucking thing and it smashed and I ended up cutting my little toe. Well done. Yeah, very well done. Go, mate. You're a genius. Yes, yes I am. Um, yeah. But, I suppose in some ways we're sort of one question I think that will be asked, and I think we can try and preempt here, was why why a podcast? Why not sort of, I don't know, there's many of other things. Why did we choose to do a podcast? Well, for one, I can't actually be in any videos because I don't live there. Yeah, that's one problem. It's a little bit of a logistical nightmare. This was the easiest thing for me to be involved in. Yeah, and I think, to be fair, I've always said, as I said earlier, me and Matt are very, very close friends. Yes. So, like, I'm quite, you know, as I've said, I'm happy to have him in a podcast. So, yeah. <laughs> um... I've run out of questions. <laughs> really? Yes. I thought this would last an hour and a half. <laughs> I thought you said you had like 30 of them. Yeah, we've gone through 30. We have? Yes. Gem well, close to. Oh. The, all right. I, I can think of one more off the top of my head. How... Sorry, yeah, it's not a good idea, but... I How do you want people to remember you? Yes, I've, for anyone who's listening, I've ripped this off a Tudor Audio podcast, but you know what? Bite me. It's a good question. For me, really, just as a good person. Yeah. I'd say the same, to be fair. Not the most exciting. Part no, of the but question. at the end of the day, if you live life as a good person, then. No, exactly. So, yeah. Well, I guess this is the first podcast done. Damn. Damn. Um, well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, thank you for Matt for appearing.
Yes. <laughs> you sake. would hope I would, or you'd be talking to yourself for two and a half hours. It's only been an hour and ten minutes. Stop being a dick. Well, the Skype call in itself is two Shut two up hours. about the fucking Skype call. The viewers can't see the Skype call. They just see this. I see the Skype call. Shut up. <laughs> But yeah, um, Matt, it's been a pleasure doing this podcast with you, mate. Yes, it has. So, <laughs> you won't even let me outro the fucking video probably, will you? No. <laughs> Dickhead. Um, yeah, guys, so this is the first podcast. Obviously, leave any tips, any improvements. If you're going to write uh, um, criticism try and make it constructive obviously we're both new at this we don't know what we're doing we've just jumped in the deep end as we do or if you have any questions you want us to answer on the next one let us know yes leave it in the comment section down below but it's goodbye from me matt will look at all of them. and i will send matt i will send matt all the questions to answer okay <laughs> lovely well you will ask them basically um yeah so it's goodbye from me it's Goodbye from Matt. Hi. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one.